Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for my first video on YouTube, I did a fake versus real Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and today I have a similar video planned out for you. Uh, it's the comparison between fake versus real Sweet Peach palette and I'm very excited about this one. I cannot wait to test them out and I have already played with the palettes a little bit so I could give you a fuller type of review and what I'm going to do uh, is the same as I did in the previous video. I'm not only going to tell you the differences in the packaging and in the swatches, I'm going to do an eye look and see what you can actually achieve with the fake palettes and yes, <laughs> without further ado, let's begin! So these are the boxes they come in as I have showed you earlier and this is the real one and this is the fake one. <laughs> The real one is a little bit darker than the fake one and the fake one is a little bit more glossy than the real one. The real one is more matte. Uh, the biggest difference you can see in the back in the color representations. So these are the colors in the palette and as you can see white peach on this box looks green. Uh, yeah, both boxes come with these leaflets inside and they are identical almost so the real one is made of a much better quality paper and that is the only difference I have noticed but <laughs> you can easily tell the fake palette from the real when you open these guys. So these are actually the metal boxes. The fake one is done really, really nicely. They're both metal. They are very beautiful. This is the back. Uh, I actually don't know which is which. Let me open them to see. <laughs> So this is the real one and this is the fake one. So fake is down here and the real one is up. Uh, the colors are slightly different but not by much, not by much. But I will tell you a sure sign if your palette is real or fake. So the sure sign that your palette is real or fake is inside and it's the smell. The real palette smells beautiful, it smells like peaches, it's, the smell is great. And the fake one smells horrible. It's, it's really, uh, this is one of the <laughs> signs as well. So you see this shadow just fell off. The, the colors themselves inside look pretty much the same, I will show you. And I will swatch them for you later. <laughs> but the smell on the fake one smells like plastic and glue and I don't know if, if it's the packaging itself or the shadows. Let me pop this one out and see. Yeah, I think the shadows themselves smell like that. It's, it's horrible. So even if these are excellent quality shadows, great pigments or whatever, I wouldn't suggest using these because the ingredients pr printed on the box are the ingredients from the real palette so you don't know what they put in here so if you have sensitive eyes or anything like that 
don't go for this. Now I'm going to insert some pictures of the swatches and then we are going to do an eye look. So we have a real and a fake row. Uh, the shade Nectar is the only different shadow here. Uh, in the second swatch, the first three shadows are a little bit different, the others are pretty much the same. So I was actually really blown away by the swatch. They are, they are identical. Um, the fake palette is a little bit more chalky than the real palette, but we are going to see how they blend on the eyes. We are going to use uh, the fake palette on this side and the real palette on this one and I'm going to do the same eye look using two different palettes and yes, let's see what we can achieve. So I'm going to start by applying the white peach all over my lid and this is the real palette and I'm applying it on my left eye. And for this I'm using the big fluffy Sigma tapered blending E40 brush. I'm taking the same color from the different palette and popping it on the other eye. Now I'm taking peaches and cream, this color over here, and mixing it a little bit with Georgia, the one next to it, with the stain brush and popping that just above my crease. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Perrier and Samriam on the same brush and I'm going to apply it uh, just beneath the previous color. Almost in the crease. I'm taking the same two colors from the other palette and doing the same. Now I'm taking this small crease brush from Zueva and I'm taking uh, this dark charm, I'm sure, shadow and applying it in the crease. I'm doing the same on the other eye. I'm taking this small packing brush, it's number 16B blush brush, and I'm taking, let me see what I'm taking, <laughs> and I'm taking um, nectar over right here, and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. to do the same on the other eye and using the fake palette. <laughs> now I'm going to take some Perrier and Summer Yam on the same brush and I'm just going to apply it on my lower lash line. So that's almost it. I'm just going to apply some mascara and liner off camera and I will be right back. <laughs> So I'm back, I have finished my eyes, I have added some highlighter, mascara and a little bit of eyeliner and this is the final look. I don't know if you can tell the difference, I will come closer in just a moment. So as you remember, uh, this is the eye I used the real palette on and this is the fake palette eye and yes. I'm just coming a little bit closer so that you can see. So now that the look is finished, I can tell you my final thoughts on the palette. And this eye look was really easy to do because both of the palettes blended really nicely. The fake palette seemed a little bit more powdery and chalky than the real one, but not very much. 
and now that the look is totally done I do see some differences uh, I used a pretty similar amount of each eyeshadow uh, on both of my eyes and the eye that I did with the real palette this one is a little bit more opaque than the fake eye you can see that especially um, with the color I used all over my lid and it's this nectar color the nectar color on this eye is much more intense than the one on this one <laughs> so apart from that yes I can tell you this palette is great but it really smells horrible you wouldn't believe how horrible it smells it, I'm afraid to use it and I will never use it again um, the other palette I tested the fake Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that one had some more differences the lighter shadows in the palette were a little bit less opaque uh, had a little bit less pigment than the ones uh, in the real palette but I think I would still use the fake palette I don't know why it doesn't have this intense smell they probably tried to recreate the peach smell and it went horribly wrong with this palette so that's probably the case. I hope that is the case and I didn't put just a ton of really bad chemicals on my eyes. So that concludes this video. I hope you like it because I have another one in store for you. I have bought a fake Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm very excited to test both of them out together and see the similarities or differences and all that good stuff and if you're interested in that like the video and subscribe for more videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comment section below and i hope to see you soon <laughs> bye